Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Craft Creator here. I'm Tyler, and I will be showing you guys how to set up a bucket server and how to get ranks and, and such into your server. Okay, so the first thing you want to do would be download the bucket server, and I have it downloaded the, the snapshot or craft bucket or whatever it is called. And you want to make a new folder, and for this case, we're going to call it MC Server. Or, yeah. Let's see. Hmm. MC server. There we go. Okay, and I have the craft bucket right here, and I'm going to drag it in. And also the run programming E, which you can find all on the bucket website, how to get it. If you can't, just leave me a uh, description, and we're going to run this and see. Let's let it finish. It's going to make the spawn, or the, the, not the spawn, the, uh, yeah, the world as it's generating. Preparing the world. Alright, while it's preparing the world, we are going to load up Minecraft just to show you that it is going to work. And I did not change my texture pack, I'm pretty sure. So, we're actually also going to change that also. Uh, this is Sword Text, it's a very, very cool uh, texture pack. But as you can see right here, it says it's done. So, let me change this to my. HD one. Okay, so multiplayer, and here we go. Here's my server, and we're gonna let the world generate. World edit. Hmm. Right here we go. So see if we spawn in a game, and we can't build because we're not opt. And just to show you this, to opt yourself first, you just one time opt, and then you name. So there we go. Up, you're now an op, so I can build, and so we're in the world now. Okay, so we're gonna get out of this. Okay, so now we're gonna stop our server just by typing stop then enter, and it should say uh, stopping server and saving the chunks, and just hit any key to continue. Okay, now you want to download the plugins. Uh, following essentials which I'll have a link to and you're gonna need for this uh, I'll show you guys on here I have them all downloaded already just go in here essentials okay and we're going to alright here we go essentials click on this now you will need the core download and the group manager the extras is an option it doesn't matter really alright so now you have that you'll be have all these files, so we'll go into our plugins folder and drag in the essentials plugin, the essential essentials group man group bridge, uh, essentials group manager. Uh, this is essential spawn, per essentials protect, and essentials uh, chat. Okay, so now what you will need to do is go back to your folder. And, oh, excuse me. Yeah. and run the server again and then it should say whatever it's creating config file group manager loaded loaded everything's done okay so now you can go back to your minecraft server and see that when you talk let's see yeah when you talk there's all you see is your name and it's in red but it says you're not permitted to build so what you need to do is now just hit and get out your alright so we're gonna stop the server again stop it <coughs> okay and another thing you will need is um, forgot about this but you will need another plugin called um, in chat just type in in chat this will help you with your prefixes and just download it. Let's see, now I have this downloaded, so I'm just gonna grab this real quick. Uh, drag that over there. Get back to. All right, so now we'll go to back to our plugins. We'll put in chat in there. 
And so now what you have, you should have, in chat will make a folder, but that's okay. And you're going to have group manager and essentials. So first you want to go to group manager, uh, worlds, which is your world, okay? And you have groups and users. Users will show who's been on, like if you add them to your user list, and I'll show you how to do that. And groups are just the different types of groups and the prefixes and such. So like for builder it would be you'd have this is a color code and two I don't know what color it is it'd be and two and then the, the name the word builder okay so now what you want to do to add yourself to a to a uh, group you just want to click, right click on users and go to I use notepad plus plus I guess that's the best to use okay and now you see how you have these are already preloaded users and they have admin owner and moderator well you want to make yourself an owner if your server so just pee right here and uh, put your name in there make sure that the uh, spaces are lined up and then you can add your friends or anything and just hit the save and then we are going to load our server up again all right let's run this Alright, it's done. So let's go to Minecraft. And now that you see, you can. Well, it'll say st Welcome Stunning, which is my name. If you talk, you're an owner, you see. And you can build here. And another way to add someone to your server. So you want to use these commands. You just slash man you select. And then the name of your world, which would be default world. Or whatever man it's man select man select world there you go and you've selected the world now to add someone in your game say they've joined and you say okay we we'll want to promote them to a builder you do, do slash man you add and you can do which would be their name so I can do I do my name for example stunnings and you can promote them say you want to promote them to a builder so builder and they see it on their screen say it would say you were moved to group builder and whenever they talk it's a builder in front of their names but their name wouldn't be red just because I'm opt so and you see it just be green like that and you couldn't build by the spawn so you'd have to go over here and now another thing would be I'm gonna show you all this how to add alright so we're not gonna need this anymore so stop this this would be how to add permissions for people in your server using group manager so you wanna go to plugins you wanna go to group manager you wanna go to worlds your world and then you wanna go to groups and I'm gonna edit with notepad plus plus okay so say you want the administrator or you want a builder or we're gonna take moderator for for this to uh, be able to use the slash i command which is slash i in any block that you'd like so go to backspace this and hit enter and then backspace it again and then go right here and add the dash and I'm not sure what it exactly is but it uh, it, it makes sure this is all lined up but it's like item dot spawn spawn dot true or something like that and this would allow you to add your add permissions to different categories of your for your users um, that should be it for this tutorial guys and um, thanks and peace